Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Madison. So today's video is super exciting. I have a MacBook Pro 2020 unboxing plus free AirPod unboxing. But before we get into it, I just want to go ahead and do a disclaimer that I am an art student. I'm a graphic design major, so I really needed a laptop. I have had this laptop, which is the Air from middle school, probably sixth grade um, until now. And I am almost a sophomore in college. I will be this fall. So this Air has done just about everything I've needed it to until about a year ago, just because it's so old. It still runs, but it needs to be plugged in way more often. And it has a really hard time trying to keep the Adobe programs up, which is obviously like my biggest thing I use seeing as though I'm an art student. So it was time that I invested in a new one. So I bought this all with my own money. I just want to say I know there's a lot going on in the world right now and this is by no means me trying to brag or flaunt what I have. I just found this really fun to watch other unboxing videos and customizing videos on YouTube while I was waiting for mine. So I thought it would be fun for me to do the same. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so this is everything that I've gotten so far. Um, I did purchase a skin, which I will link below. I got this off of Amazon. I thought it was super cute. I also went ahead and got this adapter because I know I'm going to need it for SD cards and USBs and all kinds of different things for art school. So I knew I was going to need this. So I just got a really cheap one off Amazon. I'm hoping it works. We're going to test it out. So it came with like some little instructions. It's definitely nice. It's super cheap, like I said. I will link this down in the description box below as well, and I will let you know if this works or not. So before we unbox the Mac, I'm going to go ahead and unbox the AirPods. This is super exciting because I've been wanting AirPods and I was going to buy some for Christmas, but then they did this deal, so now I don't have to spend my money on them. That's a really big box for these. So these are the AirPods. So I did order a case for this as well. I just ordered it today actually, and it's really cute. It's got like a sunflower and lavenders on it. So I'm really excited about that. We can go ahead and move on to the laptop. There she is. So like I said, I haven't had a new computer since I was in sixth grade. So this is super exciting. So I went ahead and moved you guys in just a little closer. But before we actually open this, I'm going to go over just like a few of the basic things about it. So for this computer, I went ahead and got some updates for it just so I knew it would last longer and be able to run the programs I needed to run. So I use the education price as well because my mom is a teacher and I'm in college, so I could have gotten it either way, I think. Overall, this was 1978. That was like after tax and everything, shipping, tax, all of it. So I'm, I think I did really good with this. I think I saved a lot of money. I upgraded this to have the i7 processor, 16 gigabytes of memory, and 512 gigabytes of storage. I got this in space gray because as I showed y'all earlier, I had the silver and I just wanted something new, something different. Um, I also feel like you can see the scratches on this really easily. I'm not sure if that's just me and the smudges. Um, and that really bothers me, especially because I use a lot of pencil and charcoal. I didn't want that to like rub off. 
on my computer and like show really bad so thought I'd get a darker color so let's go ahead and open it up I messed up the satisfying part oh well I tried I'm too impatient to do it that long And there's the laptop. So I'm going to put the laptop to the side. And I'm actually going to go ahead and open the skin for it. Because I want to put that on like immediately. And try not to get a bunch of like smudges on it. This is like, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's like really soft. Like it's not like I expected it to be. I only saw one video where one of the girls actually opened the manual that it comes with and I had no idea, but the stickers are actually space gray and that's like super cool to me and I'm super excited. So I wanted to go ahead and open that and get those out. So I know the charger is obviously really different and that's something a lot of people are talking about. I think the block is the same, but if anybody wants to see the charger, here's what it looks like. Which we're going to put that to the side. I might end up needing it. I'm not really sure. I've had my MacBook in my room for a few days and I haven't been able to open it. So I'm hoping it turns on when I actually like open it up like it's supposed to. Before I open it up, I do want to say a ton of the videos that I watched mentioned a girl, Julia K. Christ, who I'll link her channel down below, but everyone's been using her for like customization tips and like just advice on how to customize and she seems like a really techie channel, at least more techie than I am, and also like really cutesy at the same time. So if that's what you're looking for, you should totally go check her out. I did watch her videos and I liked them a lot. I do the same things she does, but I go about them in different methods. So like the collages she makes for her backgrounds, I usually just use Adobe Photoshop. Um, so I'm not going to show you how to do any of the things I do when I set up my computer, but she does a great job of explaining how to do that. So if you want a tutorial, definitely go watch her. Okay. I like don't want to get fingerprints on it. Okay. I guess I'll show you guys before I put the skin on. Oh good, I think that fit. Okay, cool. Oh, but see, the problem is this is going to, oh, I had it all backwards, JK. Okay, we'll open it up and I'll try to adjust it more. Oh, she is going to turn on. So like I said, I wasn't sure if my laptop was going to turn on because I have had it for a few days. So I'm super glad it is. So in comparison, I want to do like a side by side really fast of my old laptop. Granted, this is the air, so it is a lot different. But as you can see, um, I don't know if you can tell, but the trackpad on here is about this long. And on mine, it was only this long. So this is huge. This trackpad is actually huge compared to my Air, which I'm really excited for because that makes a lot of my art stuff a lot easier. And I personally like that the border 
is actually black now and it's a lot skinnier because I personally don't like this. I think it's really ugly. I think the keyboard's like new thing is called the butterfly key switch and it just means it's not like as high up as like that one is. So that's super exciting. I'm going to go ahead and set it up and then I'll come back when I'm done. So my laptop is all set up and I currently have you looking at a screen recording. So you're seeing what I see right now. So let's go ahead and get into what I decided to do. So first I started with downloading any software updates just to make sure my computer was up to date and I did have one to download. So I did that first. Julia K. Chris makes great tutorials on how to do these backgrounds with free programs. But like I said earlier, I don't use those programs. I use Adobe. So that moves me on to the next thing that I decided to do. So in my pop-up doc, I decided to go ahead and put four of the most used Adobe programs that I use and Word. These are all applications I'm currently using for school and will use in the future. So I thought it would be most important to include those down here instead of having to look for them every time in folders. Lastly, I decided to do Google Chrome in here instead of Safari as my default browser just because I personally like Chrome better. And that's all that I had to do for my laptop. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making it. If you guys liked me or you liked the video, go ahead and hit subscribe down below and don't forget to leave a like.